Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today, I'll be going over this week's Problem of the Week. For the full problem and solution transcript, you can see the link in the description of this video on our YouTube channel. So this week's Problem of the Week asks you to prove that the area of these four triangles, A1, A2, A3, and A4, are all equal. Given that we have four equilateral triangles here, not of the same uh, side length, but we have four equilateral triangles here, 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 and here. And so we know we don't, we're not given any side lengths or anything. We just need to come up with kind of a geometric argument that the area of these four triangles is equal. So it might not be immediately apparent from looking at this diagram what's going on and why uh, these four triangles, the area of the four triangles is equal. So we can just start using the area, the formula for the area of a triangle and try to see what we can get from there. So we know that the area of a triangle, a sub t is equal to 1 half base times height. So, so it looks like on this diagram a good way to approach this. So we need some way to compare all three of these areas here, as in we need a way to find that the base is equal and the height is equal. So to make things easy for ourselves, why don't we just, we know that all of these four triangles here share this, share this one common side length. So why don't we make this the base? So here I'll just write B. So we know that each of these side lengths here on this center triangle has length b, which means that the base of every one of these triangles is the same. So now we need to find a way to compare the heights of all these four triangles. And so the way that we're going to go about doing this is actually pretty cool. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the proof of the Pythagorean theorem in that we're going to use, we're going to create rectangles coming out of this, coming out of this center triangle here, all of the same common height, and then we're going to get so that, such that we can prove that the height of all the triangles is the same. So why don't we start here from just, we're just going to draw, I'll just erase this here, just going to draw um, a line coming straight out here. I'll just draw a dotted line. Okay, so we have a line of some height, we'll call this H1. So we have a line of some height H1 coming straight out, so this just continues this line segment of B along here. And in here, I'm going to go ahead, in, this second, um, in the second square over here, I'm going to draw a line of the same length coming out of this side length here. So as you can see, we're starting, we have one, two, three sides of a rectangle here. We'll call this side length h2, uh, h2. Great. So we know that by design, h1 is equal to h2. So now I'm going to go ahead and draw this line here. So this line here will be the length of the base, which is not immediately relevant to us because we're just looking to compare the heights. So this diagram here can be completed by drawing the side lengths, the same length here. So if we draw the same length here coming out of this corner of this square, and the same length coming out here, and the same length extending out from here. So we have H1, this is just a copy here, just a flipped copy here of H1. Again, this is H1 here, and this is also H1. So we can see that these here are all going to be equal to H1. So we can do the same thing for all of the following four squares. So say that we draw here, we flip around H2, and we have it coming out of this over here. So we have it extending out of the, verte the vertex G. So this is just going to be just kind of eyeballing this here. Something that looks a little bit like that. And this is going to be of the same length, H2. So as you can see here, we have H1, H2, and this can be H3, which we'll see later. Um, so I'm just going to do the same thing here, drawing the same length here coming out of each vertex of this square. And so finally, we'll have one. Uh, okay, coming out over here. This is definitely not to scale, but okay. So as you can see, they intersect here. And if it's not immediately apparent to you that all of these side lengths here are equal, I mean, we're designing them to be equal, but you can also take a look at the proof. Any of the most common proofs of the Pythagorean theorem will involve uh, something, a diagram that looks pretty much exactly like this. Okay, so this is supposed to be a square in here, but my drawing is not quite to scale. So. Okay, so what if we do the same thing here? So we have the side length, which is clearly equal to h2, 
I'm just going to go ahead and call this H3, as we'll see later. H3, so I'm going to go ahead and translate H3 by just bringing it down here and extending it out of this, um, out of the base here. So we have the side length B down here, and I'm just going to go ahead and extend H3 out. So just kind of, if you can visualize that coming out here. And then we're going to do the same thing up here. We're going to have a really small triangle in the center. And I'm just going to go ahead and extend the same length uh, dotted line here from each vertex. So from down here. And finally from up here. And this should be here. Okay, so we're going to have, any, um, we're going to have a square here in the center. Not quite a square there because of my drawing skills. But okay, and as you can see, we translated, or we just brought down H3 down here. So this is going to be, we'll call this H4. Or alternatively, these are all the same length, so this could also be equal to H4 here. So now the reason that I'm labeling these H1, H2, H3, H4, H4 is going to be that we're, so we're looking for a way to compare the height of all of the triangles uh, to one another. So the height of these triangles here, so if you can imagine, if this is the base of the triangle, then the height is going to be the distance from the base to the, the top of this vertex here. And the distance from the base to the top of that vertex is going to be equal to H1. So we know that the area of A1 is going to be one half, whoops, one half base, and we, des we determine that all of the bases are equal to each other, times H1, H1. Okay, so as you can see here, we have the second triangle, which has area A2. So we, we're going to know that A2 is equal to one half times the base, because again, we determined that the base of everything was the same. And the height of A2 is going to be the distance from the base to this vertex. So as you can see, the distance from that base here is modeled by H2, which is equal to H1 by design. So one half base times H1, and down here in parentheses, H1 is equal to H2. Okay, so finally, you can see where this is going here common thing, the area of A3 is going to be one half base. Okay, so the height of A3 is going to be the distance from the base, the distance from the base to the vertex, which is either H4 or H3, because H4 and H3 are equal. So you can see uh, one half base times H3. We know that H3 is equal to H4. So H3 is also equal to H2, because it's in the same square over here, so we know that that's also equal to H2, and we know that from before, H2 is equal to H1. So we've determined that H1 is equal to H2, is equal to H3, is also equal to H4. So finally, we have A4 is going to be equal to 1 half base times H4. But really, as we can tell, because all of the heights are equal and all of the bases are equal, all of the areas are equal. So we have, finally, A1 is equal to A2 is equal to A3 is equal to A4. So all of the areas of these triangles here, A1, A2, A3, and A4, are all going to be equal, which is kind of a cool proof there. Um, I'm sure there are other ways that you could see this, but this is kind of a very interesting way about to visualize uh, the proof that all of the area of these four triangles is equal. Um, so yeah, that'll be all for this, for this week's problem of the week. So what we've done is we've constructed a geometric proof or geometric argument that the area of all of the four inscribed triangles is equal. So for more problems of the week, you can visit our playlist here to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click this link here, and to visit us at centerofmath.org, you can click here. Thank you for watching.